here's how it works. There's a controller for our system right here. This continually monitors the temperature of the solar panels. And when the solar panels get to be 10 to 15 degrees warmer than the storage tanks right here, then these pumps turn on. And then the pump circulates solar fluid uh, around just in a, it's a closed loop. It goes up to the solar panels, captures that heat from the panels, comes back down uh, through these pipes into this heat exchanger right here. This is where it transfers heat from the solar panels uh, to, the, to the city water, which is coming in right here. And it works essentially like uh, a radiator in a car, except in a, in a car's application, it's using air and antifreeze. And in this application, it's using glycol to transfer the heat to the city water, but the two fluids never actually mix. And it gathers that heat from here, goes into our storage tanks, and from here it goes over to the normal, traditional hot water heater where if it needs some more heat, it'll get a little boost. If it doesn't need any more heat, it'll just go on into the normal kitchen uh, faucets and sinks and uh, laundry facilities. Uh, our particular application is called the drain back system and it's the solar fluid that I talked about is a 50 percent glycol water mix and we put the glycol in there to help freeze protection since we're in Wisconsin. Uh, in addition to that, um, since we have a, dry, a drain back system, it, when, the, when the pump is shut off, all of the fluid goes back into this tank. It does that for, for two reasons, so that it uh, doesn't freeze, there's some, some freeze protection. Also, it's more efficient, so in, on those cold days in January, when the sun comes out, it doesn't have to heat up all that fluid. The fluid is in here, it's at 70 plus degrees. Once the, the uh, solar panels can, uh, they warm up quicker, and once they're able to, uh, to provide heat to the city water, then the pump will kick on, and it won't have to also uh, use energy to clean, or to, to heat up that water.